Over in Philippians chapter 2, starting in verse 14, Paul talks about the fact that we as Christians should stand firm in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. And all of you do all things apart from grumbling and disputing, in order that you yourselves should become blameless and pure, children of God, without blame in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine as luminaries in the world, holding fast the word of life. See, having a proper attitude towards things starts with having a mind on reality, on how things really are. Remember, we don't scope out the things that we can physically see. We're looking and paying attention to the things that are not seen, because those are the things that are actually eternal. These things are what we have in Christ, the position and the possessions that we have in our salvation. Romans chapter 4 and verse 17 talks about the fact that God calls the things that are not as though they are. Since he is the one who can do that, we should pay attention to what he is saying about us. See, he says we're in Christ. He says we're righteous. He says, as ones who are saved, we should be producing righteousness. We also see over in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18 that while we do not scope out the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things that are seen are temporary, they're passing away. But the things that are not seen, they're eternal. And that's where our attention needs to be. So grumbling or murmuring because of discontent is a result of a lack of understanding concerning what we have in Christ and what God has actually given to us. This actually gives Satan an opportunity to be able to attack us by persuading us that we're not receiving what we deserve. We already have all things in Christ, so think about that. So that would be a wrong type of an attitude to have, to think that we somehow are missing something or are not receiving what we deserve. Rather, apart from grumbling, we should be fond of strangers, not disputing with each other, which is actually a work of the flesh, by the way. Being blameless in our actions and innocent. And being innocent, that is one who is not mixed with deceit. We don't have deceitful intents. Let us be people of our word. That is, let's keep our word. Why would we do this? Because as we live out who we are in Christ, we actually shine as luminaries to a crooked and perverse generation around us that so desperately needs to see the truth, purity, love, and uprightness. By living a life that actually manifests who we are in Christ, we stand for truth, not just with words, but actually with actions. Rejecting the unrighteousness of this crooked and perverse generation, standing firm on the truth, and standing firm against their wickedness, and you know, if we can do nothing more, the very least we could do is manifest who we are in Christ so that the people around us can actually see a quality of God's character, which he manifests through us by us living out the life that he has given to us so that we truly can be luminaries holding fast to our word of life.